Hey there, Panapon Saucepans. This might be a little early, I'm going to admit it. But I th also think this kind of feels like the right time, so let's just go ahead and do it. Hey there, everyone. It is time for the new season of rolling things and having things happen, I guess. <laughs> Check that out. So, as we all know, we've reset the list. Uh, it is now, if you want to participate in the big old royal format, you are expected to go into my Patreon page. Uh, and if you are a paying subscriber, this is gonna go into the lead, the pinned post with a potato thumbnail. And you click on it, and there's gonna be a Google form, and that's where you put down your name you want to see on the wheel, as well as the three games you want to play. As well as other details that may or may not matter. I don't know. Here we go. I'm gonna click the wheel, then I'm gonna get the person, and then I'm gonna know their things immediately. Uh, unless they come at me and not me at them and tell me if the picks are correct. But considering the wheel is new and fresh, I'm assuming all the choices for now are gonna be fine, are going to be accurate. Uh, I guess how it's going to work is that, so as you can see, 185 fresh people who have never been a royal. I have also collected data from royals who, like, past royals who still want to participate. You are in the system, you're just not on this wheel. We'll go into the details whenever it turns out it happens, so don't worry about that. But yeah, so I guess whoever wins, um... If you want to re go into the royal afterlife, uh, after I, so what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm going to once after you won, um, at some point once I've decided on your game, I'll delete your 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 form entry, which I think will give you the ability to like put in a new entry basically, uh, because like you can't. You, I get you could keep the other two games I, I chose, but you're going to have to at least change the third one. I think that makes sense. So yeah, at some point I'm going to delete your entry and then in case you can go back in and put in a new one. And that's, I think, how it's going to work. By the way, while we're having the... While we're having the temporary Living Dead A-side, who will continue for an amount of time, it feels like, um, we're just gonna go on three tracks, so it's gonna be Royal, then we're gonna roll games for a poll, and then my pick. Um, I think that makes sense. I think that is something that makes sense. So... Alright. Alright. New wheel, same song. I thought about changing it, and then clearly I didn't. <laughs> Picker Wheel does offer a few options in terms of- Oh, I did it! Well, you know what? No shuffle! First shot, no shuffling. Here we go. It's love punch. It's love punch. Everyone loves a love punch. So, love punch. I can now go into a Google form and check out what your submissions are. However, I'm not going to do this live. Uh, I don't want to cause confusion if you do decide to change your thing. I will uh, put... I mean, I'm not even going to look yet. Uh, uh, after all this is done, I'm probably going to go and look privately. I'm going to probably put your options in um, the Discord, unless you put out a note that you want to keep it secret or whatever, which is fine. But yeah, I'm going to put it into the Discord, and um, if you change them, then I'll change them there. That's fine. That's okay. But look, but you're the first one! First one of the new season. Congratulations. <laughs> but this... <laughs> this is where it all goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, look at this terrible, terrible thing. <laughs> all right, here's the great wheel. We're going to roll Five games, and y'all are gonna vote on that voting site where you sort them out by preference. And then it does thing, and then it counts them doing rank voting, because it is, in general, the best way to get the actual preference of uh, 
population rather than the preference of individuals. So yeah, we gotta get five. We go. <laughs> what happened to my voice? I don't know. It's just like this line here that sticks out to me. It's like it's not a. Oh no no. See, there's always a line. It's like it's like the number of um of entries is does like doesn't fit what what the game like like what the wheel the math of the wheel want like the division of the colors I guess. I don't know. Check it out. Down well. Ooh. Looks like Downwell is a game that already was up to vote at some point because it was in the dungeon. But right now, like, I, there is a little meta options in the wheel, but most of it is just straight up games. Uh, and so, you know, the whole dungeon division and all that doesn't matter at the very least for now. So it's just kind of funny. But yeah, Downwell, it's been a while though since it was a thing. Let's watch a trailer again. Like, I feel like there is merit to that. So, yeah, once upon a time, people probably wondered, but how cow, how will a run style game actually work for your channel, you idiot, you fool? To that I answer, Strider worked pretty well, so, uh, yeah, no, like, like, we have proof that a run style game can, I feel like, absolutely work great. Because that's what it is, this is a roguelite where you're falling down the thing. It's like semi shmup where you get like stuff and you do thing you gotta survive make it through the end of the well watch out for spikes uh, this game's just the style is out there this just looks so fantastic um the trailer is extremely <laughs> extremely straightforward <laughs> this is the GOG trailer I guess it's available on good old game, but you can also go just to downwellgame.com apparently. You can do that. Yeah, that looks just so cool. That is just such a solid looking game. It looks really fun. It looks super rad. I feel like, you know, I feel like pretty straightforward endorsement here. And look at that. Mariah is garbage. Huh? That's that's rude. I'm gonna spend a I should have continued. Why did I stop? I'm gonna edit out the stop, so it's fine. I guess maybe I thought in my brain that I would put down notes somewhere. I feel like it's been a while since I, since we've done this. I don't know. Whoa! Ellipse! Really recent. Uh, official release is less than a minute. Story doesn't really tell me what I want. Like, I want gameplay. I mean, like, the... The thumbnail looks extremely Hollow Knight. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Someone is... Maybe Reveal? Let's go with re Reveal. It's a little bit longer. Maybe it's gonna have more meat to it. Faye? Hey. Well, that's appropriate. Whoa. This looks so good. Honestly, visually, it reminds me a lot of flying. Venture yourself into a dangerous world. But no, yeah, the character is very Hollow Knight-ish, but this looks to be more of a platform platformy. Out of the abyss. Okay, so dashing. Oh, I. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is a movement game. In this fast pace, this looks really cool. I don't know if the special effects are like that extreme in the game or if they did like some post-production for the trailer But uh, this looks so good Look at that sweet background Oh man the vibes here. I'm in love This looks really sweet to me like, there's just a style, like, there's just such a strong style to everything that is going on. But also, it looks to be like a dash style, quick movement type game. Like, like, yeah. No, yeah. Okay. That's why I pause, because normally it's after the trailer that I go and fix up the list to put the game up. I was supposed to have press high choice, so it's not a wheel anymore. Well, whatever, it's fine. It's fine! It's okay. 
as of yet, very indie scene we got going here. Okay, so a uh, strange little edit here, but unfortunately it is a game I have to veto. It was a game on the PlayStation 3, so I went to check compatibility. Uh, because it is not a given that it's going to work, and the game that was going to be has crashing and freezing issues, which to me is just not something I want to mess around with. So, uh, unfortunately, yeah, I have to veto for, um, basically, technical reasons, and hopefully one day it will reappear on the wheel through magic of the fates, and I'll be able to select it then. Uh, but yeah, no, like, I just... I don't want a game... I don't want to deal with a game that's gonna be cr crashy. That's just, that's just not fun. And I, I mean, normally it plays normally, but yeah, PS3 exclusive. So, you know what? Here's Outland. I feel like I'm feeling a pattern with the type of games that... I'm being served <laughs> by the wheel. So this is Ubisoft. I hope playing this won't be an issue. But I'm pretty sure I own this on um, years ago. I'm pretty sure I own this on Steam. A great battle. Imprisoned chaos. Oh jeez. Now, chaos has escaped. And only one hero can stop her. I mean Explore this absolutely path. looks like my vibe. It's like you're playing on Greek pottery. That is so cool. And battle to restore the balance. That is a big spire. You alone have the power to save the world. For if you fail, you will do ours. I, yeah, no, like stylistically, this looks absolutely fantastic. That is so totally something I want to play, and I'm I do I own it on Steam. At some point, it got steamed. That looks so rad. <laughs> but I feel like there's definitely a vibe within the games being offered this this run. Well, Ryu, I'm gonna click on High Choice, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. It just makes things less complicated when I do that. I know some people, whenever the wheel is extremely... unknown game heavy, uh, are not super interested. To me, these are the best wheels, though. When it's like a bunch of, like, games games, so <laughs> then Sonic Frontiers happens. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, we'll look at the trailer, like, why the hell not? But, yeah, Sonic Frontier! It's like that, it's like the open world game Sonic game that was released very not long ago. And for some reason, there is, oh boy, I'm gonna have to edit this, aren't I? Well, okay, I might have to edit out the audio here. <laughs> but yeah, like, is this accurate to what actually goes happen in the game, though? Like, I've never looked at anything in the game. Because, like, I I knew that it was something I was going to play eventually, you know? Like, like obviously. Um, but I don't, you know... Basically, I'm pretty sure I've seen this trailer at some point that kind of promptly forgotten everything about it. So I don't actually know how the game works, like how they made a Sonic game that is open-handed. I think people enjoyed it though. It'd be pretty funny if my first open-world game was a Sonic game. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. <laughs> but I mean, a lot of it looks pretty good. But gosh no, Sonic games are games that uh, do tend to just trailer very well. I wish I wish I didn't use Queen for the music though, because that's just more work for me. Also, Super Sonic's in there. See, that's the thing. If Sonic Frontier is in the is in the is in is in the pile. 
Redeemed! Oh, no other trailer showed up. I only got one video link compared to that for some reason. What? Alright. I feel like Son Sonic Frontier either automatically wins or just gets eliminated immediately. It's one or the other. One more for the road! Click spin on the button, now the wheel do spin. That is accurate, Jim. Now we need a way for it to stop on something. Something. E-reader rampage. Okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> some games. <laughs> I put the Earl to find them because I wasn't sure how easy it'd be to find them. Alright, so this may not come as a surprise, but this does not actually have any trailers. So yeah, what this is, is new levels on the Mario 3 e-reader thing. It's basically a ROM hack, so as it says right there, 32 all new levels filled with challenges galore for the world east side of Super Mario Advance 4. I don't know, like, how good it is, but it is interesting. Uh, and it is there from English one stud, apparently. All right. How would that work? I completely forgot how e-reader stuff works, but I'm sure some people out there know. And they'll just tell me. <laughs> they'll just guide me. If they don't, just give me something, like, ready to go immediately. But, yeah. If you want to perpetuate the A side, you can vote for this. I mean, I mean, that is pretty much what that would be. This is like straight up, yeah, basically uh, 32 level Mario 3 ROM hack. That's what this amounts to, if that's what you want to see. All right, well, this is it. This is a weird as hell. I don't know, is it that weird? I feel like it's very demonstrative of what it is in my channel. There is a Mario, there is a Sonic, and there are three platform-heavy indie games with an emphasis on visual style and uh, minimalism. This is it. This... <laughs> this poll is the most my channel poll I have experienced in a while. So vote! Make yourself known! If Eater, if E-Reader Rampage wins, I think I would put it as part of uh, the never-ending A-side, right? Which means only two games would get chosen. Like, there will, there will be the, um, the, 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 the royal pick and then my pick. I mean, that's fine. If that happens, that's okay. That just means we'll have a new event earlier. And by the way, what happens if the if the the Royal has an A side game that I would like to play and this is the one I choose? Basically what I think happens is that it goes on the A side too. And like I might give it just like maybe boost it forward a little bit, and give it more priority. Uh but yeah, no, I think that's the way like as long as we got the A side like train going, we're gonna keep it going. And I, I am okay with that. I am totally okay with that. But yeah, this is where we're at. These are the games. I really don't know what's going to happen with it. Love Punch, I'm going to be looking at your list pretty soon. And everyone else, hey, how you doing? Hope you have a great day, have a great weekend. If, if you don't have a weekend, you know, still still have a great... You can do it. I, I dare you. To have a great couple of days, whether you want to or not.